the once popular Ray County coroner facing new and serious criminal charges. At six, we showed you new video of his drug bust. Tonight, Matt Evans talks with the people who say he stole money meant for their loved one's funeral. But now he's gone, you realize. You know. Ron Foster never knew just how much he would miss his dad, Ray Foster, a World War II Army veteran with a purple heart and a bronze star. Passed away about a year ago. But the poker games were the best. We had good times playing poker. He had a prepaid funeral plan in Nebraska that he transferred to the Poly Funeral Home. And he just smelled something wrong. Every time he called Polly, they told him everything was in order. Most of it's been on bogus paperwork. Kurt Sharp co-manages the Hidden Valley Funeral Home where Polly's Excelsior Springs business once sat. And they've got this, this piece of paper that's goods and services, has Polly Funeral Home at the top, has nothing about where the money went. He had to tell the Fosters there was no trace of where the nearly $7,000 had gone. Well, I think his, I think his exact words are I think that guy screwed me. <laughs> I think that's what he said. The Foster's case, one of hundreds, Ray County Prosecutor was, Camille Johnston looked into. I'm guessing at least 500 or more. Missouri State Highway Patrol investigators brought her the case. The money was missing. They didn't have any documentation in regards to it. Johnston handed it over to Chris Coster in the Attorney General's office after she realized its sheer size. A few weeks ago, the Attorney General filed nine felony counts against Toby Polly ranging from stealing to financial exploitation of the elderly. And even if they do something to Polly, all these people are out their money. Funeral directors say it's people like Polly that give them all a bad name. Trust is everything. If they can't trust us, we're not, we're worthless. These latest charges eroding the trust people in this small community once had for a man they elected as a county official. In Ray County, Missouri, Matt Evans, KNBC 9 News. The Attorney General's office says you should always check references and licenses of pre-planned funeral sellers. Insist on knowing where that money goes and how you can get that money back if something happens.